Hey, welcome back to Bitcoin for Humans. So, as I said in the intro video, we're going to cover a little bit of tech, a little bit of markets. Today, I just want to talk about something in the markets that's going on that you may or may not know about. So, uh, back in September last year, uh, El Salvador made Bitcoin legal tender. Big news. It's like a little tiny country. You can go there and just spend Bitcoin like it's cash. It's, it's kind of cool. But... I think one of the things that people aren't really aware of that came out of that story that I think is really big news is what's going on with the bond offering that they're doing. So El Salvador is a tiny country, GDP around 25 billion uh, per year. Uh, I think around about $10 billion outstanding in public debt. They're looking at raising a billion dollars in the first quarter of this year, in what's largely been termed the, the Bitcoin backed bond. So the billion dollars is gonna be split into two chunks. Half of it is going to be used for uh, purchasing infrastructure projects and expanding Bitcoin mining in the region using their geothermal from the volcanoes that they have in El Salvador. And the second $500 million is going to be used to directly purchase and then hold for the next 10 years $500 million of Bitcoin. So obviously that's interesting in the sense that, you know, there's a $500 million buyer that's just waiting to enter the market, which is just, you know, that's, that's a thing. So do with that as you would. Um, but what's really interesting, I think, is the rate at which the debt's being offered. So the current outstanding um, El Salvador 10-year bond currently trades at around 13.5%. This new bond is being offered at 6.5%. So what we don't know yet is whether that new bond is going to be oversubscribed and taken up, but I think there's a reasonable chance that it will. Uh, if it does, what you've just seen is a tiny little country half its cost of capital Bearing in mind they've got $10 billion of capital outstanding, so there's, there's quite a lot that they're paying out on that $10 billion. There'll be $1.35 billion a year paying out at 13.5%, um, maybe a little bit more. So it's, it's, that's interesting. And it's interesting for El Salvador because if you're sat in that country and you go, hang on a minute, why am I paying 13.5% per year on $10 billion when I can just sell it to a bunch of crazy internet Bitcoiners and it comes down at 6.5%. I may as well may as well pocket $600 million. <laughs> you know, why not? So you can sort of see where they might go longer term with the rest of their public debt and rolling that over if this works out well. But... You know, this is just one little country with small amount of debt. There's just not really that significant on the global perspective, but it's surrounded by a lot of countries that are. So, you know, if you're if you're Mexico or if you're Brazil or if you're Argentina or Chile and, you know, you're also not that keen on, uh, you know, some of the conditions that come along with taking debt from the IMF and, you know, the we all heard stories. <laughs> so, but that aside, you know, even the economic incentive of just saying... I can sell this debt privately for half what it's currently costing me and I can recoup that money and I can re-inject that back into my economy at a time where we're looking at deflation over the next decade, let's say. Um, I think that's very interesting. I think there's an obvious incentive that's at play there around the issuing of bonds backed by Bitcoin and I think we'll start to see that play out over the next year. So I, I think that's just something people aren't really talking about. If you go on uh, DuckDuckGo and you type in El Salvador Bitcoin bond, you'll get a whole bunch of articles that go into this in a bit more detail and I'd encourage you to go out and have a look. I think this is a, a really interesting story that just isn't really getting much time. So I thought I'd highlight it today. So I hope that's good. I hope you enjoyed learning about that and go and have a look. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.